Good morning from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys and home of the Fish Report. I'm Mike Fisher, your trusty and trusted reporter. This is the Fish Bowl. That is the star over there is Arlington, Texas. We'll be there, AT&T Stadium. Please come join us here on the Fish Report all day long on Saturday and at CowboysSI.com. Top five for you this morning. Top five this morning. And we do, of course, with your help. Get in, get on, be good as we walk you through Mozzie, Micah, and more. Only three slapdicks allowed per program. Uh, contribute via the refund if you wish. Hell yeah, we're ready for football, says Anthony and everybody. Huffnuts just made a big move. Congratulations on the new house. And Peter M says, Fish, there's ads on this thing, but I'll watch them for you. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm in control of the ads. Uh, and I appreciate your tolerance and patience as we get to, as Dozed Off calls it, TGIF. Thank God it's fish every day. Chris T, Uncle Fish Premium. I finally made a live show. Hey, how, how, how do I get to be Uncle Fish Premium? Ask the fellas. They'll show you how. Marika, breakfast at Fish and Ease. <laughs> Item one. I'm not, not asking you to believe it because this. The cynics and the skeptics and the haters won't. I am also going to cite pro football focus here regarding Dak Prescott because this isn't uh, this isn't subjective, or it's less subjective than trying to grade film. Anyway, Dak Prescott last year on throws of twenty yards or more, a grade of ninety point five. Best in the NFC East. And his 44% completion percentage on passes of 20 yards or more. Percent, completion percentage on 20 plus. Better than Burrow, Allen, Brady, and Rodgers. What? I am not shocked that his deep ball numbers would be better than Aaron Rodgers last year. Aaron Rodgers, I'm, I'm not sure if the, the Jets are aware of this. Stinky wasn't very good last year. Dak Prescott's 20-yard-plus throws are more productive than Joe Burrow's? That I did not know. Either did you, by the way. Josh Allen? Did not know. Tom Brady? Wow. Wow. That doesn't take away, of course, from the interception. The interception only counts as a non-completion in this pers in, in, in this judgment. So you got to factor that in, in in real life, but in this very specific, but yet I think fascinating category. You want a guy in the NFL who throws it well and accurately when it's more than 20 yards? Your guy's Dak. Uh, McCarthy said the other day, they do that net drill. And it's so basic. It's straight out of the carnival. But he's, he, he, he really believes in it. it. It helps you work on the trajectory. Now, it's a stationary target. Uh, no, no drill is perfect. But running that go route, throwing on the run in the Texas Coast offense, and throwing 20 yards plus, Again, we've talked a lot about the horizontal routes that, that are part of the West Coast offense. But are you shocked or are you shocked? Ron Rose, if Stephen A. is George Jefferson, as I suggested last night, does that make Skip Bayless, Archie Bunker? No. Stephen A., I, I, I get your Norman Lear family comparison, but I got to go to a whole different family. Stephen A. Smith is George Jefferson. Skip Bayless is Gilligan. David, Uncle Fish Premium. Fish, when you give these DAC endorsements, you're selling bread to the bakery. We, we get it. And we appreciate that when we come here for information on the team, you give us facts and not fiction.
Item number two. Mozzie's plan, or at least he says he is. Uh, Dan Grigsby, Uncle Fish Premium, was in Oxnard. I saw the lineman up close. These guys are stunningly large and quick. Uh, the 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 advent of the 330-pound athlete is quite something, and Mozzie is that. Uh, he he says he's healthy enough to go. He is suggesting that he's playing. Uh, obviously, there, there's a whole bunch of frontline guys that aren't slash shouldn't. Dak Prescott being not to me the primary one. Uh, but Jerry said. He, I want to see Mozzie in combat, so we're going to see that just a little bit. Item three, uh, we have spoken to the Michael Irvin camp, so we can give you an update of sorts there. No movement on that case, which is now, of course, in Arizona, since June 23rd when they finally got what amounts to a subpoena response or a response from Jane Doe. The court finally got a response from Jane Doe. That was June 23rd. That's the last thing that has happened there. And so the wheels of justice move slowly and Michael Irvin remains in forced TV exile. Cody, Johnny, thanks, Fish, for the best Cowboys news on YouTube. I'm watching from Lima, Peru. Streaker, trying to pull my chain on Isaac Alarcon. Isaac Alarcon's future will be the head coach of a football team in Mexico someday. If there's ever an NFL team in Mexico City, he'll be employed by it in some capacity. And if he ever wants to run for president of football in Mexico, he will win it, American football. And for that matter, he's, he's, he's a big, good-looking, smart guy. Maybe he can be the mayor. That's the future of Isaac Alarcon. JT, the pipe layer. Fish, I'm catching your show while sitting inside an airplane bin. They have put you, they have stowed you above your seat or you're down in the luggage compartment belly of the plane. Ram, Uncle Fish Premium. Hey, how do I get the circle and the star? Ask the fellas, I'll show you how. Good morning, Fish. I just became a grandpa for the eighth time. Wow. Congratulations. Go Cowboys, Fish. Have a great day. Oh, JT works on the ramp. I see. Pastor of Muppets, any word at all on Chuma? Uh, looks like a knee hyperextension. George K., I'm checking in from Ocean City, Maryland, finally getting to watch Breakfast at Fishernees. <laughs> Item four to the thumbnail Tony Pollard not playing Saturday just became a daddy for the second time, a good old dad for the second time this week, which is why he missed the practice that Shady McCoy says he looked good at. Roger S. Zach Martin News, uh, the very latest and greatest, is here on the Fish Report. You can find it. Uh, Zach Martin Lies, L-I-E-S. You can also Google it. And of course, we wrote about it at CowboysSI.com with an exclusive interview with his coach slash trainer, Big Duke. Do or die, says Tony. And he says he's given advice to the other running backs. Isn't it funny that Tony Pollard, now obviously uh, Rojo has, has been in the league longer and he's 27. But the dean of the running backs around here is Tony Pollard. Time flies, does it not? As you can hear by the bongs on the wall, time flies. And he says he pulled the running backs together and told them, Saturday night is do or die. And while that's a little extreme, a little overzealous. 
Sounds like good advice to me because when Tony Pollard first broke on the scene, he ran like his hair was on fire. He didn't. He He ran like it was do or die for him for a job, which initially it was. Michael Evans, Fish, enjoy your straight dope, no bullsh. I've been a member of straight dope uh, in Uncle Fish Premium, but I wanted a little more and I wanted to give a little more. And I appreciate that. So now I'm not just straight dope. Now I'm full bullsh. Yes. I bet you Deuce Vaughn gets this, do or die. I don't see why Rico and Malik wouldn't as well. Jobs on the line. Jobs on the line a day and a half from now. John H., reminder, these kids are not only auditioning for the Cowboys, but they're also auditioning for the other 31 teams. Makes it all the more exciting to watch for their friends and family, for the other teams, and for us, of course. There will be no Hunter, Deuce, Rico, Malik going through the motions. There'll be none of that. Craig D., you see Pollard at some point as a slot receiver. They they talked about it last year and never did it. Not Never really did it. Uh, and that's when they had Zeke. So I would say that that experiment is over. Tony Pollard is a pass catcher, absolutely. But Tony Pollard lining up as if he's a wide receiver as a fundamental piece of your offense, I would say no. Rudy, I hope the offensive line gets Rico a chance. Well, that's a that's going to be a concern. That's that's going to be an issue. It's going to be very difficult to judge in some cases. Hey, how are these running backs doing? Certainly by stats, if the offensive line struggles as it has at camp. Now, one of the reasons it struggles as it has at camp is because it's going against Micah and Tank and this defense. And I don't think the Jaguars are going to put that on the field on Saturday afternoon. Gordon Stewart. Gordon Stewart. Good morning, Fish. New subscriber. Gordon Stewart. Why is that so hard for me to say? The rural juror. That's why. Does Are the boys still looking into different running backs on the market? Does what do you mean still? When were they when were they ever looking to make a change from what they've got? If you watch this show, I know you do, you recognize that, oh yeah, I mean, listen, we got all the names up there on the board or in the computer. Will McClay knows all the names, knows who's available, he knows who's out there. They have not actively looked for more running backs. Understandably, they're gonna look at the ones they've got, which by the way, we've been telling you since the day that Ezekiel Elliott got released. They are not looking at other guys, including Zeke. They, they know what's available. They want to see what they have. Cole W., does anybody have any offensive line depth that we can trade for? You've still got three guards that you've heard of sitting on the free agency shelf. So... There's no need to give up an asset for a uh, a emergency guard. You can go sign one. Cowboys don't think it's an emergency left. John Campbell, will C.D. Lamb have plays out of the backfield this year? They've used that a couple times in Oxnard. Uh, jet sweep, not exactly out of the backfield, but I I don't I don't think it's I think it's a fun thing to have in your toolbox. I don't think it's very sensible. Uh, C.D. Lamb is that that's not his forte. He's a tall, rangy tackle target. That's a problem. I'm not saying he doesn't have the juke muscle, but he doesn't have it like a punt returner, like an ideal punt returner would have it. Uh, and he's not a world class sprinter. He's he's fast and he's agile and he's gymnastic and he's jukey, but that play is to me mostly for somebody who has greater attributes in some of those areas, I say. And finally, we've been talking for a couple months now about what's going to happen when we get to 65,000 people. 
65,000 of us, fish heads in Cowboy Nation. Well, guess what? We're 34 subscribers at this moment away from being there. What? We've been diddle docking around here for a year and a half. I really initially hoped, you know what? If, and I think the the, the uh, financial viability of YouTube is in part based on getting a thousand subscribers. So I, I was really focused. Let's get a thousand. Marsha, do you think we can get a thousand subscribers? I think I even called the text to come over. Hey, come, come subscribe to it, my YouTube page so I can see what a subscriber even looks like. <laughs> Chris Glenn, Uncle Fish Premium. Fish, you said you won't be surprised if we trade a defensive lineman. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I'll predict it. I predict the Cowboys will trade a defensive lineman. And Chris, you're right. You could trade a defensive lineman and get an offensive lineman. You could. But you could, I'm saying... The Dalton Risner type guy you can acquire today without having to give up anything. Melkiah. Melkiah. Melkiah? Shane. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I wish that was my name. What? Melkiah Shane. Private Dick. Fish, you're the only dude who has the inside info. Every cowboy fan should be on here. Not the only, but I, I'm I'm proud to be uh, viewed by you as in the collection of people that provides for you straight dope, no bullshit. And I, I personally agree. So tell your cowboy friends because either today or tomorrow, whatever, by Monday morning, I would like to think we're going to have 65,000 fish heads in Cowboy Nation here. Why don't you just go tell 33 of your friends and let's get that done. And among the prizes that we're giving away the official FOCO NFL bobbleheads, the big heads and others. And those things are, uh, by the way, and they, they don't, there's a limited number of them. They craft a limited number of them. So like one of those things, I think the Troy up there, I think there's only 200 of them in the world, that kind of thing. Uh, most of those are the ones that you can't get anymore. They're cause they're done making them. They're done selling them. In fact, I think that's true of Troy, maybe Luca, and definitely Dak, Lamb, Micah. And no, you don't get Fran Tarkin. <laughs> so the Focal Bobbleheads, part of what we're giving away. Texas Coast t-shirts, yep. Straight out of the Uncle Fish store right below. And then what might be the grandest of grand prizes that we'll give away in the coming days when we officially hit 65,000. Our collection of the Cowboy Five Super Bowl rings, we got them in a box set. And are they the actual ring that Tony Dorsett won? No, but they're magnificent in their replication of Cowboy Super Bowl rings. That's all the stuff that we're gonna give away to you just for being a watcher, a liker, a subscriber. Tell your cowboy friends, let's get this thing rolling, shall we? And then uh, the other favor that I ask of you, you've been so kind to me this morning, I'm asking one more favor of you. Go to cowboyssi.com and marry it. You, 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 when you talk about how you come to this show now, because it's you, you just feel comfortable that you're going to get everything covered. You're going to get it straight dope, no bullshit. You're going to get it as good as it gets. And I'm I'm proud that you think that. Same deal at CowboysSI.com. We are all over it, the 75 member staff. And we want you to be a part of it too. So join us right now. Go click over there, CowboysSI.com. Uh, we might have stuff for you over the course of the day, but definitely fish at six tonight. For now, fish out.